Alrighty, so we are back at my new home away from home, Blur Cycle Works in Round Rock. We're getting the training wheels off, we're getting the clipless pedals installed on the bike. It's that time, it's that day. So, so you want to make sure that you get a, uh, you get a, get, get some momentum going before you try to put the other foot in. Okay. But put whatever foot is going to be the typically for people it's a right foot. Uh -huh. Clip that in to to start with with the bike stopped, and then work on clipping in the left foot after you've gotten going. A few a few yeah. cycles. Yeah, yeah, okay. get, get yourself going some some. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to, this is designed to hang like this. You're going to slide the top of your toe over the top, okay? And then catch catch it as you go down. There you go, and press down at the bottom. There you go. So all you're right. in, all right? So this one, you're going to pedal forward and just come across and then catch it, and cut, you're in. All right, too there easy. There you go, too easy, right? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> you're, you are sorely mistaken right now. Because you're more answers. predominant taking your left leg going out I mean, right. I mean, consciously, like when I first started riding, mm -hmm. my, my legs were like, you know, out like this. Right, right. I'm, consciously trying, I'm constantly trying to keep, keep them all like okay. stacked. Okay. Yeah, focus on bringing them into to almost like a brick. There you go. Brushing the top two. Yeah, I think I've been consciously trying to do that. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this, but just sweat everywhere. Now, today's workout was an intense bike. It ended up being about an hour, and I like doing my intense bikes in the garage on the trainer, my endurance bikes um, out on the road. I just I prefer that way because on a tense bike, on the trainer, I work a lot harder. There's no opportunity for downhills or coasting. You constantly have to be moving, and I'm, I'm trying to switch my focus rather than using muscle strength that like going into a lower gear and grinding it out on the the pedals um focused more on cardiovascular so keeping a higher rpm on the bike and utilizing my cardiovascular system rather than my muscular system so what i do is i throw the bike on the trainer in here i put on a podcast i've listened to uh triathlon Terrence podcast just because it talks a lot about um his experience and talking to pros and other you know triathlon participants and athletes about improving on the run, the bike, the swim. So that podcast has been helping a lot. Programming is going well. And uh, day one of using the clipless pedals and the cleats, I like it. I like it a lot. So solid workout this morning. And look at that butt sweat right there. Yep. That right there, that's, that's butt sweat and that is dripping sweat. All right, so I will talk about in the next video, probably the full day of eating video that I'm gonna do, changes to my diet specifically, but it's a lot lower in carbohydrates with an emphasis on uh, whole foods and proteins and fats. So like rarely do I have carbs in my first meal unless it's an endurance day. Typically it's five to seven whole eggs, but we were low on eggs, so four whole eggs today, two leftover turkey meatballs, some added salt, and then uh, BPN strong greens for breakfast. I'll talk about my my thought process behind limiting carbs. It's not a ketogenic diet by any means. It's not that low, um, but meal one and two is typically low to zero carbohydrates. So for years we've been talking about it, thinking about it, coming out with a protein bar, and finally I think we're gonna go through with it. We've been kind of planning it the last couple of weeks. We go on a fry on a call on Friday um, with the company we're most likely gonna work with. We just got some samples in the other day as well, and they're all super good. So I think the, the hardest problems is gonna be finding which flavor to kind of release first. So we'll probably do like packs of 12 um, and just go from there. Now I would have to say that out of all the products we've worked on and created, product development for protein bars 
has been the hardest because what we're trying to do is it's not just going to be a candy bar with whey protein added to. We want to use whole natural ingredients. It's actually a healthy protein bar um, that can withstand Texas heat for one, doesn't melt within shipping time frames because we found that is a big problem with a lot of other bar companies and tastes really good, not too high in fiber, has good macros, um, but what's in the bar is what matters most to us. So we finally found a manufacturer that uh, we will probably start working with. I and mean, we were still months away from production because of all the stuff that has, has to go into it. But like these are some of the samples that we received from that manufacturer in the past couple of days. And like Preston said, we're going on a call with them on Friday to see, you know, what our capabilities are and where to go from here. But like this is chocolate peanut butter. This is a Dino Crunch. This is a natural peanut butter fudge. This is natural peanut butter chocolate, almond butter, cinnamon crunch. There was like a marshmallow crunch, lots of different options. But those, these are just like samples that sent us to show their capabilities as a manufacturer. And then we'll create our own bar from there. But we've put it into, pro like not a production, but initiated the steps to move forward. All right, so the second workout of the day, this one is resistance training, and Preston and I are hitting chest and back. So this one's going to be super high volume, very high intensity, back to back to back. We're starting off with 100 push-ups and 100 pull-ups. Now, I do push-ups and pull-ups with correct form. Does Preston do push-ups and pull-ups with that correct form? form is constant tension. Constant tension, well. Probably gonna be breathing heavy into this camera. <laughs> First set, as many as possible. So it's my turn to pick this superset. We're gonna go dumbbell, flat, press at 105s, and then we'll go right into a barbell row right behind us. So just right back and forth, one into the other. And it's hot in here right now. Alrighty, so next up is a superset, three sets total. Bench is 225, as many reps as possible. And then cable lat pull downs, about 10 to 12 reps. Uh, weight that you can do like 10 to 12 reps. So this bad boy, 225, I'm saying as many reps as possible right now I can do 12 reps. That's what I'm going for. Come on. Come on. Ah, one more. One more. Ah. Right, I've been dead forever. 
So let's take a look at this week's training on Team Trainiac. So this is actually the same as last week's. Um, tomorrow I have 90% of my expected race time run. So if I'm expecting to run four hours uh, for the, the marathon of the Ironman, I have to break that up into two runs. So like 90% of four hours broke up into two runs over the course of a 36 hour period. Um, so that's what tomorrow is. And then Friday, 40 to 50 minute technique swim, which this one I'm going to a lake. I'm probably going to Lake Travis for that one. Saturday is a 3.5 to 5.5 hour endurance bike with a 50 minute run afterwards, a brick run, and then Sunday is off. So that's what the remaining week of training looks like. Super productive day today. Got the clipless pedals on the bike, got the cleats, uh, so I'm all ready for this weekend's long endurance ride. Next thing I wanna get, uh, probably before going to Lake Travis actually, is a swimsuit. Start practicing with that for the event itself, for the Ironman in November. Um, and then we had two business meetings today for an app that we're actually working on for BPN. So it looks like in four weeks we'll launch, about four weeks we'll launch BPN's app for iPhone, Android. And then we're also working on an application which will be probably months, a few months ahead uh, to integrate Embrace the Suck Training and BPN so that Embrace the Suck Training will be a digital app platform. Um, just more integrated and completely revamped. So we've been working a lot on that, actually bringing more employees on the team to help with that platform. So we made a lot of leadway today, and then with the protein bars coming in, testing that and the call on Friday, and training's going well. Yeah, it was a good day. Can't complain. 